One of the goals of Local Land Stewards is for landholders to be the last ones into drought and the first ones out of it. We're seeing a lot of extreme weather events and so what we need is to work with landholders to build resilience in their farming enterprises and so this program is to improve ground cover, to increase herbage mass and pasture growth and also to increase the perenniality of our pastures. So the Local Land Stewards program was advertised and basically whenever there's a grant that, that is going to help uh, landowners to improve their management, uh, I like to apply. The grant has enables me to manage my land more efficiently. By having smaller paddock sizes, I'm able to control my stocking density better and that has improved the ground cover there and it's also improved the pasture uh, species composition. So it's helping me to manage my land better and uh, it's also helping the sheep. When we got involved with the LL, um, LLS with this land stewards program, we were, we were fortunate enough to get some funding to build a lot of four-wire electric fences and put water into some of this country and they were able to give us some funding to do that. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm trying to split my a lot of this this 1,200 hectares into you know 100 odd paddocks, and it's costing it obviously has quite an expense to do that and put water there, and it was just an opportunity to get some funding to speed up their operation so I can get more paddocks up, which will increase rest in our country and also increase intensive livestock when we do graze these paddocks. Most obvious thing is I know within three months if I'm going to run short on feed. Whereas with the traditional way I used to farm, I didn't know probably till the week before. And even then it was questionable if I even knew. There's so much less stress in your life for doing the, you know, this sort of grazing. It's just so much less stress. What I have seen is that the ground cover has improved dramatically. I've got an um, increasing percentage of perennial species now and the sheep are grazing all of the paddock. This transition is going to make our farms more resilient as we know that these wide swings in weather conditions are only going to become more frequent and it's a great investment. I'm now seeing some results for all my efforts as in improving soils, improving pastures uh, and livestock are performing and they, and they perform under this environment very effectively too. I'm, I'm just excited, I just love going out and moving my livestock because they love it too, they love it too. It's great. So Boorawa Land Care and the grazing groups work very closely with the, the local land services in Boorawa. We get a lot of support from them and a lot of the people who are involved in their local land stewards program are involved in our grazing groups and they attend our meetings and I think they get a lot of support from people who've been doing this sort of thing for a long time. And I think that's something that the grazing groups have been able to mentor people through is that it, it doesn't have to be a, a, a financial sacrifice to look after the environment. I think the best thing about the grazing group is, yes, the technical information is fabulous, it's that social group. It's being able to talk with farmers who have been through the same thing, who let you know that there's light at the end of the tunnel and you support each other. Longer term, I want to leave the land better than I found it and so I think Having carbon neutral production system that's giving you a sustainable fibre and high quality food, I think that that is my aim to be able to contribute to sustainable development in Australia. This is not going to be something new and different anymore, it's just going to be the way that people are choosing to, to manage their land.